I got a text from a, a friend of mine, and, and, and then I immediately got a call from the photo editor. It was literally a day before he, he posted my photograph on his Instagram. It was like the last post he put. I was really at a loss for words. I didn't know what to do. I was like, it was really like haunting. Don Felber, I'm a photographer. I started getting interested in photography probably around 13 or 14, something like that. I think it gives you an excuse to be curious and to sort of um, get involved in certain worlds that you wouldn't ordinarily have access to. The thing I love about it is that you get to meet amazing people and you get to be involved in these worlds that you wouldn't ordinarily get to see in your everyday life. Well, I had shot for Vulture a couple of years ago. I photographed Joey Badass, Summer Jam, and basically hung out with him for most of the day. Um, and so I think that the photo editor probably just drew a correlation between Joey Badass and Mac Miller and his music. And so I, I wound up going out there to Bowery Hotel, pouring rain, it was a big thunderstorm, I got soaking wet. The publicist told me to, to go to the back of the Bowery Hotel to meet them. So I showed up and went to the back and he was just there with the writer hanging out. And I just went over and we just started talking and I kind of got involved in the discussion. We started talking about like the music industry and all that. He had to do like more interview stuff. So him and the writer went up to his room. I just kind of waited around for them to be done. And then finally, they're like, all right, let's do some photos. So I went up to his room. They were still kind of finishing up the interview. So I shot them interacting because I knew that the photo editor wanted that. And then we started getting into portraits. Um, and I really like the window light. I, I usually shoot natural light anyway, so I can, can just sit here and just start taking portraits like that. Um, and they came up with the idea of maybe doing more on-camera flash stuff, and he started getting into that, kind of coming up with his own ideas, and he put like a lampshade on his head, and he came up with the idea of riding that bull that he posted on his Instagram. It was like the, it was like a leather bull that comes in all the um, rooms there at the Bowery Hotel. And it was funny, it was hilarious, so it worked out. And I was like really surprised how game he was to just do kind of whatever. I continued to do portraits. And it was tricky because my lens was broken at the time, so the autofocus wasn't working and it was shooting really shallow. So I wanted to make sure I was getting it in focus. So that shot that we did like that actually took like, I shot it first, then we started shooting other things. Then I called him back because I was like, I don't know how in focus because I really wanted this eye to just be like hack sharp. And because he's like, he's, he's kind of like very self-conscious. Like kind of like shy and, and even though he's goofy and kind of out there, but he's like, he has a sort of a underlying shyness. And even though he, you know, he comes off as confident a lot, like I think a lot of what was going on with him in the press, I think kind of made him like reassess his relationship with like all that publicity and, and all this like gossip and all this nonsense. So I think for me that that pose was like super fitting. I was like, that's, that's perfect. Like that's the, that's the shot. Cause it just seemed to fit in with the narrative. And so that's why I was like, I need to make sure I get the shot. Like I, I like, I can't screw this one up. Cause I felt like, you know, again, one was like already a little out of focus. I'm like, I need to make sure I like got it. So I gave him the photos as well as a couple of the, the outtakes that weren't published. What do you say about the photo? Well, cause I was asking him like what she preferred and I was like, well, what about the hand over the face? He's like, no, no, I love that. And I showed him the back of the camera and he's like, oh, it's fire. And I was like, all right, cool. Some sad news from the music world. The rapper Mac Miller is dead at the age of just 26. The Pittsburgh native's real name was Malcolm McCormick. He's known for songs including Self Care, Loud, and Smile Back. The fact that it was like, like my portrait was like the last photograph that was ever taken of him. And it's, and it's weird. I mean, you know, photography is a strange thing that way. Like, you know, part of the beauty of a photograph is that it freezes a moment in time. And it's just funny because I was thinking back to what I was thinking then 
taking that portrait. You know, it's just this still moment of him, you know, covering his face. But in my mind, I, I was thinking, well, you know, I was like, oh, this looks great. But at the same time, I was like, my lens was broken. I'm like, I, I hope this is in focus. Like, that was like what I was thinking. I was like, I really hope, like, you're not thinking on that level. You're just like going through the motions. And it's just, it's weird. It's strange when an image becomes so prominent and like exalted and it become almost like transcends the, the medium. And I've never had that happen to me with a photograph. This is the first time this ever happened. And it was weird seeing it in real time. Like immediately after I took like, you know, it was posted, this happened. So it wasn't like, you know, a photograph that I took five years ago and then he died. It was like immediate and it was so bizarre. Like just watching the whole social media frenzy and just media frenzy you know, getting calls like all over the place. And like, you know, my syndication agent was like, Apple's reaching out, they want to use it. But then at the same time, it's showing up online everywhere, showing up on, you know, was it GEZ, like projected it behind him. Like my sister texted me, she's like, hey, look at this. I mean, like I got 5,000 followers and like, a, like it literally doubled in like a matter of days. And you realize like how many people, how many like lives he's touched, which was really kind of extraordinary. Like people sending me, photos of uh, tattoos that they're getting of my photograph. And you're like, that's crazy. Like, he was funny, he was hilarious, like super goofy, super warm, super open, really friendly. And you can just tell that like, it, he just has like a very endearing quality to him. Like it's hard to say no, you know, like when you're, when you're hanging out with him, like you just wanna be around him. I was like, I, I, I was like, I admire that you don't give a fuck about most things. Cause he just didn't, he just didn't give a fuck. Um, and then he was like, no, but I, I, the, I, I do give a fuck about my music. Like, that's the thing. If it ain't about a dream, then it ain't about me. Go a couple full weeks without a good night's sleep. Imagination, making musical creation, a journey that I'm facing, plus the paper that I'm chasing. Got me crazy after saying it with the lames. I see you hating, but there's nothing that you're changing. Thumbs up, I'm maintaining. No complaining when it's raining. I'll be in another zone. Move out my mother's home to a world to call my own. I ain't gonna play around no more. Find a difference from the ground and the floor. If we gotta fight, I'll be down for the war. Thumbs up, homie, I'll be sure. No matter.